So here we are looking at the new Notice software, Trawlmaster 3.2 for single trawls. Let's look at some of the different trawl parameters measured by Notice. First of all, door spread. This is the distance between the two doors. This is the most important piece of information that the Notice system provides. Door spread will instantly indicate if there is something wrong with the gear. And more importantly, it has actually been proven to save anywhere between 10 to 20% of fuel savings on an average single rig trawler. The main way it does that is it allows the skipper to actually fish by spread, not by speed. That means the speed of the vessel is constantly adjusted to keep the optimal spread on the gear. This may mean towing much faster sometimes than the vessel is typical, typically used to towing, and it can actually mean slowing down sometimes. And again, it is this practice that has saved some vessels 10 to 20% fuel savings. Over to the left here, we can see that door spread is graphed over time. And the notice actually allows comparison with the optimal spread expected on the gear. The optimal spread is shown right here on the gray bar and the actual spread is shown on the green bar. Notice also monitors the distance from the vessel to each door. So here we can see the distance from the vessel to the starboard door, from the vessel to the port door. This is very accurate. It actually measures the trawl wires. Down here we can also see the two doors on a green horizontal line. And if these doors were out of a line, you would actually see one of the doors above or below this green line. If we look to the left here, we can see the difference in the door alignment. So we're showing right here that the doors are only out of a line by 0.6 meters. Another very interesting sensor is the headline height sensor. This uses a sounder to give the distance from the headline to the ocean floor. It's a critical piece of information to knowing the overall trawl's geometry as it does give the vertical opening of the net. Another very important sensor is the catch sensor. This actually indicates if the cod end is full. Right here we can see the catch sensor is off. So that means the cod end is not full and the catch sensor has not triggered. When the cod end is triggered, this entire block will turn red. An advantage of Trawlmaster is that the distance from the vessel to the catch sensor is also provided. Right here we can see it's 870.8 .8 meters. There are two main advantages to that. First, it can indicate if the cod end is twisting because that distance will change. Secondly, if the cod end is lost, it allows the skipper to relocate it again. Another advantage of the Notice Trawlmaster system are these update rates. And what they are, or what they do, is they allow the skipper to change how fast he gets information. So right here, he can have information every 5, 10, 20, or 60 seconds. So it really gives the captain a lot of control over the battery life. On a typical, on a typical setup, 20 seconds is used, and that gets about 4 days of battery life. However, when shooting away or on very rough bottom, five seconds may be used to get more information more quickly. This is actually a 3D display that changes as the trawl parameters change. And you can actually take this and spin it according to what the captain may prefer. 
down here we see different views such as the top view or bird's eye view, the alignment view, and the front view. Most skippers will use the alignment view. So that's the basics of Trollmaster 3.2.